the water hide her eyes, the white of her eyelids, and the piano will walk her in our school play behind. We've been learning all about that in my curious, curious rotations. Aka Faka Romo, listen carefully and you will find out the answer to your pata. When Tamachi Kapa was born, his mother declared, One day you shall be a great leader. And he, he was. was. He was a very famous leader of the people who led his people from a little island near Hawaii all the way to Aotearoa, nearly 700 years ago. But he was also clever. <laughs> Let's find out more about our tama. There was not always enough food for everyone on the little islands that tama grew upon, and this caused many problems. Some of Tamati Kapua's early descendants, the Te Arua people who live in Rotorua, tell stories about this. Tama loved his pet called Potaka Kiki. Now one day Potaka ran over a very special place belonging to Kiki. He got so mad that he ordered his to catch and kill the dog. Then the family ate Tamaji Kapua and Whakaturi and his brother called for his dog. Hi, my Potaka Fiti. Potaka Fiti, oi. Finally, they saw the chief's son with his big fat tummy. And they heard his puku. Wow. That sounds just like your kuri. <laughs> now we know what happened to Potaka Fiti. How dare they do that to my crew? I'm going to pay them back. Okay, to you. I know how we'll pay them back. Let's steal some of Unaku's bread fruit. If we use the stilts to sneak into Unaku's garden, we won't leave any for punt, and no one will know who stole the bread fruit. That fruit was so yummy, let's get some more tonight. Oh no, Bakaturia got caught and taken to Uanuku's party. Bakaturia was tied to the hole in the middle of the chief's party to punish him for stealing. Tama whispered to his brother. Oh help, you shrink them so he can escape. How? Tama. Chief Unuku and his family were doing some kapahaka to celebrate their catch. Vokaturia Then he said, I need to stay. I look like my dad. 
Bartle Arsenal's oldest son. Tommy T. Kepler by Big Joe You be in charge of the work for my kid brother. Tia and hey, you help them. Hi. So, everybody worked together to build the huge, strong waka that had plenty of room in the deep holes to store everything that they would need. That had a buddy on the dead floor protection from the sun and dawn. Atua Matua, Thomas Kapua's grandfather, was very happy that his people would be going to but he passed away before the waka was finished. Everyone was sad. So they decided to name the waka Narako Matahipu Atua so they would always be <laughs> Everyone helped collect as much food as they could. Banana, purple, kumara, coconut, and especially coconuts, which were good for green tea, green tea, and maize. The net lots of fish and dried them in the sun. All Tamatu Kapua needed now was a clever high priest who could navigate a long way across the sea to Atua. Just as the Atua Matua Waka was about to leave, Tama went over to the Tainu Waka, which was also getting ready to go to Aotearoa, and said to Ngātoroa Iwai, Come to my waka with your wife. Why do you want us to come to your waka? My father had given me a special walk for the anchor. It's a green stone like Kupe film, and the weather is the long white clouds and brought back to Hawaii. Please come say hello here. For our return, please now to Alangi. Everyone knows your clever talking in the homes of Hawaii. Aye, that's right. I am. Okay, I will come to your office. Please, I'll take care of you. Yes. Hey, Mama. Hey, stop the walker. Take us back to shore. Hoi! Hoi! But it was too late that Ho Tu Tu Tamati Kapua had kidnapped Nga Toroi Rangi and his beautiful wife Tia Roa. Nga Toroi Rangi looked carefully at the sun, the clouds, and the moon. Go Go to help them navigate the way to their new home. So 
Kōrikori o Te Parata. It started the sucking the Atua Matua Waka down and down. The women and Tamariki scream! Kay's wife, Hinorangi, fell overboard and Te Parata was dragging her down. They decided to give Hinarangi a new name. They called her So everyone would remember the whirlpool. Many years later, the Farikai at Haimarai was renamed after her. The Waitaha logo also has a some of Tamati Kapua's descendants say that a huge an aroa suddenly appeared and helped to and all the people that were in it. Because of this, they decided to change the waka's name from Atua Matua to Te Arawa to honour the shark. Tamati Kapua commanded We've lost a lot of food overboard. You'll have to catch lots of fish and you'll have to cat collect every drop of wine that we want to survive. But a clever wahine called Whaka Oterangi said to her herself, <coughs> I'm going to hide this Kito camera. We need to save them so we can grow more in our new land. After a long time, they finally came to the land of the Long White They sailed down the coastline of Te Eka Amaui, the North Island, having lots of adventures. <coughs> when they reached the beautiful Sungahaba, Tia stood to claim the land for her son Tapawika. From the hills came in a me to that fine river, I claim all these lands in my belly, my son Tapawika. His twin brother, Hay, announced, I claim all these lands from this manga Papamoa, all those mangas way up north. It's the bow of my son, Waitaha. Tamati Kapua sailed the waka a little bit further down the coast. When Tama saw the shape of the land at Maka 2, he said, This land was like the shape of my nose, all cooler, all Maka 2 was the name of Atua Matua. Here and Hayes back in the wagon. As they entered the Makatu Estuary, they looked up and saw all the beautiful trees on the cliff. Look at all those little flowers. They were so amazed and delighted with them that many years later, their uri used lots of red paint in there. To remind them of the wonderful flowers that they saw when they arrived at Market 2. As the waka came to the end of its long journey, the crew composed a haka to honour Thomas' father, who encouraged them to leave the waiki and the waka that brought them all safely to Aotearoa.
the special places and people are in our PPR. I now I know what we're singing about them in our school, I asked her.